I think I probably was 17 or 18 when I was working as a horseshoe farrier is the technical term at a ranch in Wisconsin when uh, I realized that uh, I had overloaded myself on the number of horses I was attempting to work on that day and I was still relatively young as a horseshoer is I mean I, under, I had the skills I had the technical ability but I didn't understand all the mechanics and so I had this horse and I, I had done a ton of other horses that day and I was tired and I had one of his feet shod with with the horseshoe had the other one trimmed ready to go but I was like I, I just I'm tired and the horse will be fine like I, I'll, I'll, I'll finish it tomorrow um, I'm here at a uh, silly mountain park and uh, my wife and I just had a beautiful hike this morning. A beautiful day here in Apache Junction. Um, I realize so many times that there are things that when we don't manage our life well with margin, we get in trouble. And uh, in the case of the story of this horse, uh, the next day the, the horse came in and it was lame. It was, it was limping, like it was, because what I had done was, because I had not managed my life and my margin, I created imbalance in the life of that horse, having only one shoe with a one, one hoof with a horseshoe and the other one not. And that imbalance uh, affected it negatively. So many times in my life, I realized my lack of margin has created imbalance, not only for me, but that affects the lives of people around me. It's affected my wife, it's affected my kids. Imbalance, because I'm afraid sometimes to say no. Um, there's a guy that I heard years ago that made the statement that no is a complete sentence. And I wonder sometimes, had I practiced better no's, what are some of the things I would have been able to say yes to in my life? Um, you know, I, I don't know what is going on in your life, what you're facing right now, but, but let me tell you this. If there's any powerful lesson I continue to learn in my life is well-placed no's dramatically increase the quality of life. Well-placed no's dramatically increase quality of life. I'm hoping that your no's in your life right now add value in significant and meaningful ways. Um, Talk to me in the discussion below about some no's that you've said recently, even in the midst of COVID, that are adding quality to your life. Uh, maybe there's somebody that you know that could be encouraged by this video about their need to say no in their life. And go ahead and subscribe. And I'm excited, just so thrilled to be on this journey with you. Look forward to our chat next week.